in with the good air, out with the used air. Is that, what's that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, flying is much. is a lot of work for never let your masters. never let your party fly. Is it, try to keep can, them from flying as much as you they can. They can just fly like maybe a football field, and that's it. Mm. Then it ends. <laughs> You're done. Yeah, no you more flying for you. You don't want your party to fly. It's really bad. It's really hard to DM when your party can fly. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, maybe it's unavoidable. Once they hit level five, they can cast that spell, and you're yeah. just kind of stuck. Or they ride flying creatures, or they, they have a, a, a maybe a, a magic ship or artifact or something that yeah. allows them to jump on and fly around in. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, it's one of the best pieces of advice I ever saw was that, like, as soon as your party is allowed to fly, you know, a lot of your traps, a lot of your stuff doesn't work anymore. It's like the pit that you have to jump over doesn't work anymore. Yeah. But you need to have every base you build from that point on needs to have aerial defenses. You need to be prepared to shoot things down out of the air. Mm-hmm. Because, like, if you're, this is a little off off topic, but, like, as a dungeon master, if you're building this base, like, uh, and you're going to have be, have a dude fly at you, it's actually, if you're prepared with aerial defenses, it's not so bad, because generally speaking, it's going to be one dude, and maybe he's carrying another guy, which that guy is, like, at a very, like, disadvantage. Mm -hmm. um, if you are prepared to deal with flying characters, you are only going to have to deal with one flying character for the most part, right? There's going to be the wizard can fly because mm -hmm. he gets that spell at fifth level. But, you know, you've kind of, there's, the rest of the party is not with him, right? He can't take everybody with him. He can fly yeah. around. Uh, and if you're 15 ready, archers. Just go there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, boys. It's like, all right, we'll He's a, coming in the view. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take a bunch of attacks at He's you. He's a pin cushion. <laughs> yeah, or like a griffin shows up, or like something big that, like something big and flying shows yeah. up to defend mm -hmm. the, the area. And it's like, okay, well, now this wizard is going to have to melee a griffin <laughs> like, in the air. In midair with no, not only no help incoming, but no help possibly incoming. Yeah, he kind of <laughs> outsmarted himself on that yeah, one. Yeah, if he gets shot down, you're going to fall a long ways. And <laughs> so, yeah, but still, or you know. Or maybe this gives you control over flying creatures or something. Like oh, that griffin. could be cool. You know, you wear this helmet, you're able to ride and control the griffin or a giant hawk or a giant eagle or a dragon hawk or some some kind of creature um that's a possibility too yeah mm -hmm. that could be really cool yeah. it could be tied to like um either as a saddle or like a collar or something mm -hmm. that you could put onto something and you can kind of communicate with yeah it that way. yeah some kind of flying creature we'll think of something really cool but yeah you're gonna like it what we come up with yeah i'll Alrighty. write something neat for it yeah i just have to i just have to have put ben to work I have to have looked at the helmet for longer than 45 seconds before I came up with a cool power for it. <laughs> but, awesome. Excellent. Okay, you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.